Hey, it's your boy Carpers, and welcome to this review for this episode one of season six of Game of Thrones. Yes, it is back, and I could not be any more excited. So yeah, after for the a shocking end to the season, fa. I've we he starts season six first episode. But first shot, the slow zoom in on the dead body of John Snow. And, and Ghost starts howling away. He. 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 To, um. Because. Because of what happened to John. And because it goes howling, and Davos, his hair is ghost howling, so he's like, what the hell's going on? So he goes out to look and he sees John's body. And then some other guys from the, uh, the, the wall, some guys who didn't stab John, they come out and they're like, who did this? They bring him inside. He he, and then they figure that it had to have been some of the other guys in the Night's Watch, which, which include that guy who really doesn't like John. So, one of the uh, Guys who are loyal to John goes uh, out because they decided together that they decide they need the help of the wildlings because since John let them through, who since they John helped them, obviously he he the it, the thought is that they will come to John's help in his hour of need. He. And um, yeah. So, and uh, Davos is also. And when they come to tell, when the uh, guys who did stab John, when they come to tell Davos and the guys who are protecting John's body, he to lay down their her swords and they won't get hurt. Hurt. Obviously, they want to take John body and burn it, it so he doesn't come back. And they're saying to Davos, you'll be given a horse and some food, and you can take the red woman if you want, or you could leave her here. It's totally up to you. That's pretty much what he said, which um, is interesting. I'm not sure what they plan to do with her, actually. I think we all know what they pretty much want to do with her. But, uh, and in, like, the last scene, he, Davos says he's gonna go talk to the Red Woman and see if she can help, help maybe heal John. Obviously, he, at some point, she's gonna use her blood magic to revive John, because, of course she is. Why else would she have returned to the wall? She could easily have just not returned to the wall. I, I guess, I mean... My friend has a theory that had she went to the wall to see Davos because he's like her only living friend. They were never friends. This is why I point out to him. Which is true. Davos is pro he hate pretty much hates her guts. It's, he just kind of like went along with the fact that she was there because it made Stannis happy. Didn't really work out for him. Anyway, he, he that's pretty much what happened in the scenes at the wall uh, in, in King's Landing. And, and Roos and Ramsay Bolton were talking about how they're gonna that the they're, they've lost their control over the North. Because 
sunset is gone, and they also lost their power against the Iron Islands because also Theon slash Reek is gone. So, well, Ramsey's like, I have some of my best men out looking for them. And Roos is like, well, with the way you've screwed up, let's hope the maesters are right and that uh, uh, your mother is carrying a boy. And you could just tell by the look in Ramsey's eyes that he didn't like that. He did not like that. Yeah. One bit. So, yeah. Uh, I think Ramsey's going to do something extreme in the next episode, or maybe the third episode. We'll see. But, yeah. However, MC is obviously plying something. And normally it involves cutting things off. So that should be interesting. Um, we go to Sansa and Theon who were running away from the men that Ramsey sent after them, as well as the uh, hounds. It's, it's, it's actual dogs, not, not the. Uh, Guy who was not, not the game, not the hound, actual hounds. <laughs> just in case you're confused, just in case there's someone there who's confused, like Kagane. No, no, not not Kagane. <laughs> no, he he. We we assume he's dead. And so uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah. The Bolton's men catch up to them. Ramsey's... He's always he sent them to get them back. And... And, uh... Theon is like... Says to Sansa, I'm gonna lead them away so you can run. And he he tells Sansa to run north. Uh, telling her something she already was told by Ramsey. He last season that... That uh, John... Was uh, at uh, had become Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Obviously, they don't know he's dead, it's, or they he's dead. Uh, but yeah, so obviously, Theon says, "You go north, and John will look after you." Who, who, and uh, yeah. Oh, so he goes out with the Bolton soldiers. Maybe he thought they were further away that he would get a chance to run, because pretty much he got like a few feet away, and suddenly here they come on their horses with the dogs. So when they ask where Santa is, he's like, "Uh, she's dead," and they instantly see through that light, and he's like, "I left her to die," and then the dogs find her, and they're like. We'll see you. I'm, in, I'm anxious to see what he cuts off you this time. Obviously, making light of the, uh... Although, oh, losing someone wasn't the reason Ramsey cut uh, Theon's thing off. Uh, I think that was just Ramsey, his idea of keeping himself entertained more than anything. Although... It's it's very he likely he Ramsey would have been pissed, but before the Bolton soldiers can bring Sansa and Ramsey back to Winterfell, here comes Brienne and Podrick in on horses. I'm not sure where they got their horses because before when they had horses before those horses, they lost those horses. Maybe they bought new ones, or found new ones, or... I don't know. I don't know where they got those horses. Uh, it's a bit of a... bit of a... It's a bit... Huh? What? What? Anyway, um... But yeah. A Bran comes in and instantly knocks one guy off his horse. As, and they start... Her own in the Bolton's soldiers. You Podrick does very well. Oh, oh, I don't know where he learned to sword fight. I mean, 
Yeah, he killed the guy who was trying to kill Tyrion in the Battle of Blackwater, but that guy wasn't even paying attention to Podrick. Podrick was full on having a horse on horse first fight with some with one of the Bolton soldiers. And he actually killed them. He actually killed them. Podrick actually killed someone in a sword fight. Now, obviously, he, if that was a real life sword fight, he, you'd imagine the Bolton soldier would have probably won. But obviously, it's a TV show. Who, and the good guys, he's, they gotta win at some point. <laughs> because, maybe, you yeah, know, sometimes. But yeah, so Podrick does pretty well. Although, when he comes up against another Bolton soldier, or the Bolton soldier or knocks the sword out of his hand, and just before the Bolton soldier can kill Podger, Theon kills the Bolton soldier, or, and, and obviously is beginning to go back to being Theon. Obviously, he can't go fully back because he's missing a few bits. Um. Obviously, he's becoming less weak, more Theon. Because, obviously, he's not around Ramsay anymore. And, uh, Brienne again offers her sword to protect Sansa, and Sansa this time accepts. Last time she didn't accept it. But this time she does. And it was a bit. It, it was a. It was a bit funny that she he was kind of like she can't, she'd forgotten the words and Podrick had to, say, had to help her out with the words but uh, yeah and now so uh, Brienne now fights for Sansa yeah, so the circle has been completed for Brienne and obviously now her goal will be to help Sansa kick ass against the Boltons, I'm going to assume. Hmm. Hmm. Will Sansa order Brienne to kill Ramsay, or are they going to align with John? We'll see what happens there. Because obviously, remember, they don't know he's dead yet. So, uh, so uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. And since we're talking about Starks, let's go to Aya in, um, in Bravos. She's uh, she's been put out into the street as a blind beggar, or, or when, when she's begging, she only gets like two, I guess they're coins. One was like rectangle shaped, and uh, which was odd. But uh, as she's uh, saying, her along comes the uh, the other girl from the. Uh, From the uh, faceless train place, and she like throws a s long stick at a at a Aya, and proceeds to beat her with the stick that the other girl has. As obviously they're trying, I mean, I guess they're trying to train her not not to trust her eyes, maybe to use her ears. That's what I'm assuming is the uh, is the is the uh, intended lesson for Aya. We didn't see her man, uh, which is a bit of a disappointment, but uh, I'll he'll uh, pop up again in episode two. Ooh. To uh, help with Aya's training. That's not, that's a very, that's all we got from uh, from Aya's point of view. Ooh, uh, it's a, Let's go to King's Landing next, where Jamie returned from, from Dorne, of course, with uh, with uh, Marcella. But unfortunately, Marcella didn't make it to King's Landing. She's dead. Poisoned, of course, by the uh, your one who was with uh, Orberon, hmm? the wife of Orberon. I, I guess not the wife of Orberon, because she wasn't. And, because her her name is Sand, meaning and the 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 Dars are sand, are all Sand, meaning they're they're all uh, 
for uh, bastards. But yeah, uh, when they hit the uh, new, when Jamie returns with Marissa, uh, uh, as Cersei seems to be falling apart. It's 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 really it's really different in character than we're used to seeing from Cersei. He, he, usually she'd be plying her revenge, but it almost looked like she had been broken and maybe still suffering mentally from uh, from the uh, sh walk of shame she uh, had to take in the last season. But overall, oh, oh. Well, if you ask me, um, yeah, Cersei just didn't seem like Cersei. Uh, yeah. Although Jamie did promise that everything that had been taken from them would be he paid back in due. Obviously, he 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 was referring to the saying that the Lannisters pay their debts. That's. But he didn't actually say it. He kind of like had a different way of saying it, which was weird. But yeah, pretty much, he pretty much said that the Lannisters will pay back their debts against the Martells for what happened to who, who um. Marsa and uh. And to, uh, to, um, Joffrey, even though they don't know the Martells were involved in that yet. So, yeah. Uh, uh, over in Dorne, mm, 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 Oberyn's brother is killed by or by your one, and Orber, the, uh, brother's Bodyguard is stabbed by one of the Orban's daughters, and and the messenger guy who gave Orban's brother the message that um that uh, Marcel had died. He 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 was he was killed as well. Oh, and uh, then it come. Then it cuts to on the boat who to who 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 dars of Orbrin kill the uh, son of killed the son of Orbrin's brother. And if you're wondering why I'm not saying their names, I've completely forgotten them. <laughs> That's how unimportant these people were. I don't even know their names. But yeah. So pretty much all the Martell men are dead. And, uh, I guess Dorne is in the hands of the Sand and Snakes, as they're called. Also, it'd be interesting to see what happens between them and the uh, Lannisters as throughout the rest of season five. Let's see. If I think that's everything. So, um. So, yeah. I'll, uh. Yeah, that's. That is. Season 6, Episode 1 in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'll enjoy it. Smash the like button if you did subscribe for more. Her, her videos very, very soon. And until next time, I'll see you all. Ooh. Ooh. I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.